Hello, 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 and happy Tuesday. Here we are, my friends. And in this video, we are going to interpret tarot in the areas of money, relationship, career, and well-being. And let's see what will reveal to us today. How are you? Have you had your coffee? Your tea? Hmm, what time of day is it? What are you drinking? <laughs> okay, okay. All right, let's see what we have here. So I am going to shuffle, shuffle. And lay these out for us so that we can just get right to the reading. All right? Yes, indeed. Making it happen right now. Okay. So, money. Hmm. Dark horse. Upside down on the night. Coins are falling. So it looks like it's going to be a dark day in the trader's field. So if you are trading paper, um, this is going to be a lot of uh, dark activity, a lot of losses or drops in the market, a lot of influence that's going to drive the market down. So as you're working with your investments, you may want to look at what you're going to do, check with your investor and see which way you're going to be moving with the market with it or against it in your favor, trading low, trading high, what will it be to see how you can work with the information that's being presented. As a collective, this may be referred to your spending habits and maybe you've been doing impulsive buying, maybe some impulsive purchases that are now kind of putting you in a pickle because we're at the middle of the month, there's still a lot of bills coming due and perhaps the things that you bought weren't things that you needed, more of things that you wanted. So again, before you go buy those big ticket items, do a little bit research, not only about what you're buying, but also why you're buying. You might find out that it's not something you need right now. Okay, relationship. Mm. Ooh, I mean, could this be more obvious? Getting stabbed in the back? And unfortunately, this could be that there is a relationship now that it's at the end of its cycle. Um, you know, it's for both parties. There's been a lot that have been said that shouldn't have been said. There's some suffering. There's a, a bit of bitterness. Maybe there's some grief and pain associated with this relationship. And it's not as it was when it first started. And it's, it's now in a different place. And, and both of you are headed in a different direction. So you may have seen that this ending was inevitable and you've taken it as far as it, it, it could go and you can't take any more of the pain that is associated in this very difficult relationship and at this moment you know there's been some betrayal that's happened and infidelity and and it's now coming into terms of what action needs to take place are you going to continue in a, in a relationship that's going to continue bringing pain and suffering or could it be that um, you are in a relationship that has now run its course? Here, there's been infidelity, there's been betrayal, there's been pain and suffering. And it's like, how much more of this can you take? How much more of the lies can you go on with? And this is this where it is at is where it was heading. It's just inevitable that now it's here. And either you're going to stay and feeding this narrative or you're going to say it is what it is and the only way to get better is to just move onward away from the situation the only thing that can happen once this backstabbing and infidelity and lying is is not in your pictures a time of healing and a time to start anew and yes while you're thinking about you know, you don't want to be alone, but what what do you want? Because what you allow to continue will continue. So let's move on to the next card. The Hermit. Hmm. In the area of career. Okay, so in this area, the Hermit here is bringing us a message that maybe you've been thinking about your situation um, and thinking about what is working and what not working. You've been thinking about what you really want out of life and as it relates to the pursuit of the basic needs as well. So right now, maybe you feel that what, what you're involved in may not 
be your path. This may not be what you really want right now in your life. And so there could be a sense of not being fulfilled, you know, not feeling totally complete. And you're trying to understand what is going to work for you right now. What is going to bring you happiness? What is going to bring you joy? You know, to, to get up in the morning and, and want to go to work because there is a sense of connecting with the service that you're providing and it makes you feel like you're part of the path. And of course, getting compensated for that is what was called the cream on the cake. But you know, when you're missing that deep part and, and you're not being fulfilled, well, because you're pursuing, um, you know, just working for the pure sake of making money and, and you're getting that financial stability might be no longer what fill, fills your cup and you're looking for more meaning in what you're doing. So at this time, probably as is indicated with this golden rod here, trying to get that connection with divine and, and bringing light to your life and the passion, maybe as you continue finding that deeper part of you, you'll get closer to what it is that you want. Okay, let's look at well-being. Okay, this could be about a renewal of goals and ideas. And as you get this new renewal um, with your goals, and we're talking about your personal goals, your personal goals mentally, your personal goals spiritually, your personal goals physically, which is encompassing looking at new ways to achieve this. Could be a new diet plan, could be new um, uh, exercise routines, could be a, a new gym that you're going to or uh, yoga classes you're taking or new arts that you're trying to embody that's going to help influence your well-being. All right. Okay, moving on with our Gabrielle, we'll look at the collective. Let's take a look at the collective. Mm -hmm. Okay. Speeches and speaking. Hmm. Communication. You have important messages to deliver that can help others. So, think about some of the things that have shown up today. And how does this work with what you need to communicate? Because maybe you were impulsive with the money and now you need to hold being held accountable for this action. Perhaps this betrayal here um, and now you've got to rise above this and let your voice be heard. Perhaps it's finding your path and finding purpose in your service. Now you're getting to that stage. There's this new you rising. And as all this, these new ideas are coming together. So I could see that it is time to speak your truth with integrity and allow these divine messages to come to you. Be inspired to continue to blossom through because you have still important work ahead of you. All right, my friend, thank you for joining me. And if you haven't done so, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. See you at the next video.